Good morning friends, I'm Danny 702 and welcome to Las Vegas. Today we will be exploring the Venetian Las Vegas Resort and Casino, one of my favorite resorts probably of all time. Are you looking for a great resort stay here in Las Vegas that has a huge casino, top nightclubs, maybe a really, really great pool, lots of food choices, and a huge shopping area? Or maybe you're looking for something family friendly with a beautiful theme that has big, clean hotel rooms, good shows, and even free entertainment, or maybe an attraction to ride both inside and outside of the property. Or maybe you'd like to hit up a really fun wax museum. Well, that's all right here at the Venetian Resort. The resort is centrally located on the Las Vegas Boulevard with the crossing street of Sands Avenue. Across the street is the Mirage and Treasure Island and then you have Harris Casino next door. The Venetian opened on May 3rd, 1999 and we have two towers with the highest floor being on the 36th level. There are over 4,000 hotel rooms and it shares a complex with the Palazzo at the Venetian. So together they make one of the largest hotels in the world with over 7,000 hotel rooms. The facade is incredible with a really fantastic Venice, Italy theme. I mean, I've never been to Italy, but the pictures I saw seem pretty darn close to these since it is a Vegas replica. There are copies of various Venetian landmarks all over the property. The front is a replica of Palazzo Ducali or Dodge's Palace and it has a romantic Venetian Gothic style. It's quite stunning and it's so different from the other properties on the Strip. And I'm sure most of my Florida friends recognize this building because there is a replica that also has a home on Disney property. The bridge is a copy of the Rialto Bridge. The original hovers above the Grand Canal in Venice. Then we also have a version of the Grand Canal that you can actually get a gondola ride on the inside or even the outside. And just like the original experience, you can get serenaded by a singing gondolier. I absolutely love themed hotels and this resort does an amazing job at making you feel like you escaped the desert and went straight to Italy. Now the tower is maybe the most iconic structure of Venice. Our replica is at 315 feet tall and the original is 325 feet tall. I mean that's pretty close. This is very high on my bucket list. I have always wanted to do a gondola ride here at the Venetian. This is something I feel like I would enjoy with someone else, someone to share the experience with. I mean, I do a lot of adventures completely on my own, but there's something about getting on a gondola by myself that just feels very strange. I am so impressed by just the exterior. There is so much detail in this facade. You can tell that they really wanted it to look authentic. Now, this resort property sits where the iconic Sands Hotel and Casino used to be. The Sands has a rich history in Vegas, including having strong ties to the Rat Pack and of course, the mob. There is a plaque here stating that this is the area where the Rat Pack once stood to take a photo in what became a legendary photo. Sinatra, Dean Martin, Sammy Davis Jr., Peter Lawford, and Joey Bishop all stood in this spot for a photo in front of the Sands Hotel sign in 1960. In the early 60s, they were the headliners at the Copa Room inside of the Sands Hotel. So the footprints mark the approximate location of where they once stood. And I think you guys know I'm a huge, huge fan of that era, especially Las Vegas, 1960s. Oh my goodness. What a trip, it used to be right here. I wish I knew the exact location of where the sign stood. It's That's so cool. All right, what, what's that that mark? It's gotta be a time. 12 o'clock exactly. Now, right outside the Venetian's front doors, you will find Madame Tussauds Las Vegas. I've been in here maybe twice. Actually, we've been here on the channel. I'll link that below if you're interested in seeing what it looks like inside, but I would absolutely love to go again. There is a whole Vegas room inside full of Vegas royalty, like with Elvis and even Bugsy Siegel. You can take pictures with them and of course grab selfies with current stars as well really fun times in there. This resort is a massive with so much detail, but let's head inside. I definitely want to explore as much as I can. We're going to miss a lot. This place is huge, but let's do what I can show you. 
As we enter through Las Vegas Boulevard, we immediately enter the Grand Canal Shops, which is a very large shopping center with a ton of offerings. So there's food, possibly over 20 different food stops just in the hotel alone. Then of course, shopping and entertainment. This area is made to look like Piazza San Marco or St. Mark's Square, which is a very popular square in Venice. From the ground up, you can see the amazing details that they put into this to make you feel like you're in Italy. This is so cool to see as soon as you walk in is all of these beautiful paintings on the ceiling. And not only are the paintings just absolutely amazing, but all of the paintings here are wrapped around this maybe 3D frame that look like they are all in gold. I peeked at some of the rooms online and they look amazing, so inviting and so luxurious. I think all the rooms are considered a suite and I can see this being a really great stay for maybe a honeymoon or any time to celebrate with your loved one. This is a very romantic resort. And it looked like one of the rooms was maybe 150 at the least, but then maybe two weeks later that same room looked like it was about $900. So check the website, you know, that's Vegas. Now, as far as things to do here, there is definitely plenty. There's free entertainment, so they have street atmosphere that takes place every day, but there is also the gondola rides. Then they do have nightlife with a towel nightclub and of course, a few different cocktail lounges and venues. There's minus five, which is an ice bar. And we know they're shopping and the wax museum, but they also have an immersive digital art experience at the Museum of Dream Space. And I'm very, very interested in seeing what that's all about. Then they also have a VR experience. Ooh, a pizza place. It looks like you could get pizza by the slice. But there is also some gelato out here that's basically screaming my name. Holy cow. These ice bars always look like a lot of fun. I have heard to come prepared though. I mean, they do give you a coat. Ooh, look at those. Those look, look nice and fuzzy and warm. But I heard you need more, more than the coats that they give you. They're also building a spear-shaped music and entertainment venue called MSD Spear at the Venetian, which will have over 17,000 seats. I think it was supposed to open in 2021, but it got put on hold, and now it's set for 2023. It's supposed to have a wraparound screen, which will be the largest LED screen in the world. But between the Venetian and the Palazzo, there are 10 pools and 5 spas. There is a day club out there too that looks like a lot of fun. It's pretty well known here in Las Vegas. I've also heard really good things about Canyon Ranch, which is a Forbes four-star spa on property that includes a fitness center and a rock wall that you can climb. You can get a day pass to go into the spa without getting a treatment. Um, if you're not staying here, I think you gotta shell out about $125, but it might be worth it. Well, even on the inside, they have little bridges that hover over the canal and the gondolas go right through them. Such a beautiful resort. I am so impressed by all the details in here. Usually they have free street atmosphere is what they call it. So performances on the streets. And I thought they did it on the hour. It is exactly one o'clock right now. And I don't see anybody out here. This is where it was held the last time. My original plan was to grab some gelato right here and view one of the street performers birthday cake and cotton candy, Italian cookies, s'mores, Nutella coffee crunch, holy moly, watermelon, pineapples, passion fruit, they're, oh my god. Well, I found a stage, so they must still, oh, here we go. It's on every half hour starting at 12.30. Friday and Sunday, they have even more shows. Over at the Sky Garden, they have a couple of shows. Oh, those are on the hour. Okay, now I see where I'm a little bit confused. As we saw earlier, this property used to be where the Sands Hotel and Casino used to be. So the Sands is for sure one of those historic spots that helped put Vegas on the map. They called it a place in the sun. It opened on December 15th, 1952 with only 200 hotel rooms and it stayed open until 1996. It was the seventh resort to open on the Strip, and we all know that the Rat Pack played in the famous Copa Room. And the Copa Room was kind of like the hit spot back in the day, hosting many popular acts and glamorizing Vegas with stars like Sinatra, Judy Garland, Louis Armstrong, and Jerry Lee Lewis having frequent shows there. Howard Hughes took over ownership for a few years and then updated the resort. And there was a rumor that Hughes and Sinatra 
might not have liked each other very much. It has something to do with Ava Gardner, but when Howard Hughes took over the resort, basically Sinatra peaced out and went across the street to Caesar's Palace. I just found where the Venetian connects to the Palazzo, so you can walk through the resort without having to basically exit the resort. They're, they're connected, which is why the complex together makes one of the biggest resorts in the world. Now this is considered the Palazzo, and we'll come back and do this resort at another time. The Venetian is just too big to combine the two. That video would be like an hour long. Currently we've got Derek Huff and the Steve Miller Band and a few other acts. There's also a show here called Atomic Saloon Show, which I read is a raunchy romp through the West. Cheeky, nuttiness, slapstick, comedy. Then we've got Weird Al and Earth, Wind & Fire. They'll be here later this year. And I believe they have live music acts at various like restaurants and lounges throughout the resort. Sloan's homemade ice cream smells amazing too. Look how cute this place is. Oh my goodness. All right, what should we do? Should we do ice cream or should we do gelato? Yo, look at this. Oh my gosh. Seriously, I wish there was smell of vision This is incredible. Okay, I think the prices helped me decide. It was $9.99, I think, for a scoop of ice cream. And I'm pretty sure the gelato was about seven for a scoop. <laughs> Not much of a difference, but hey, every dollar counts nowadays. So $6.45 for a scoop versus the $9.99 over there. So I'm definitely gonna go with some gelato, but I mean, this looks amazing. This place is called Cocolini, and I'm a sucker for sorbet, but I'm also a huge sucker for birthday cake. I ended up getting two scoops. <laughs> I think it was about $7.50. I also tipped, and then with taxes, it was about $9.50. Oh my gosh, all right, yes, I'm excited. Treat yourself. I got the birthday cake and a scoop of guava. Oh boy, that is sweet. Fluffy. And the last time I was here, they had opera singers. They also had someone doing acrobats. This band was doing a popular song just a moment ago. I think it was one of the Jonas Brothers songs. And now they're doing a classic. Very interesting placement for a reptar. Oh, look at SpongeBob out there. <laughs> Definitely looks like he's had a few nights out here in Vegas. There is literally a gigantic meeting area here. I mean, they have everything from space for expos and conventions, all the way down to ballrooms for weddings, and then small meeting spaces just for like maybe a boardroom or a lunch meeting. This goes on and on and on. Or grab and go choices. I like to show these just because, you know, not everyone's gonna do sit down restaurants their whole visit. And then they've got a whole food court over here. Got your classics, Chipotle, Subway, Popeyes, Panda. Oh, even a Johnny Rockets. Handy fact, some of these places are open 24 hours here at the food court. That's always good to know. They are checking for hotel keys in order to go up stairs or to go over to the pool area but we're now walking around on the street level which is also casino level oh what's this ah this is their theater now there is an insane amount of restaurants and food choices you have your grab and go the casual dining uh, you can eat patio side there are the celebrity chef dining in room options late night all hours dessert specialties i mean for real i wanted to list some of them but there is way too many those are some definite words that you can live by okay let's talk about the casino now the casino space i read on their website was over 200,000 square feet yes. i wonder if i read that wrong because that is huge but the venetian resort is well known for having the most extensive selection of slots and video poker machines in the city they also have a poker room and a very, very big sports book. 
There is also a brand new area with electronic table games. So there is a live dealer and multiple large screens, and you'll have a live draw that is shown to you both on your terminal and also on the 120 foot LED TV wall. I keep kind of going around in circles and ending up in the same spot. Oh, here we go. All right, now I'm going the right way. Now their valet area and their lobby area is one of my favorites in all of Las Vegas. Just look how magnificent, how marvelous. It's just beautiful. And I, I feel like a princess every time I walk through here. I think the lobby and the valet area is pretty important to a lot of these resorts because it's one of the first things you see as you come in. Unless you're self-parking, you'll probably end up in a completely different area. But imagine just walking in and boom, this is the first thing you see. Oh gosh, it's so beautiful. It just sets you up. And even the ballet has their own paintings and their own gold frames all around. And that they don't have a buffet here at the Venetian, but the Grand Lux Cafe, I would say, might be the closest to it. I mean, nothing like a buffet, but people say if you're looking for a buffet at the Venetian, come over here to the Grand Lux Cafe. And just when I thought that I've explored the whole hotel, I found a whole hallway that we have not been down yet. Gosh, this looks so much bigger than the last time that I was here. And these are the cakes that we saw in the vending machine over at the Link Promenade. They're so colorful, I love it. And they are huge sizes. Almost miss this, the Oak Room at the Rock House. It's like a small grab and go bar. So that's, that's your cup or your mug or yeah, your guitar. Your souvenir slushy drink inside of a guitar. I wonder how many ounces that fits. That is intense. All right, he said 64 ounces. We're definitely not getting that. We've got to drive home in a little bit. We're gonna have to stay. We're gonna have to go in a gondola, do the immersive museum, go get some milkshakes at Black Tap, go to one of the cocktail bars. There's so much to do, so much to do. Oh, and I do have a Patreon and a buy me a coffee. So Patreon, you put about a dollar a month into the hat. And buy me a coffee is like a one-time tip, a one-time gratuity. I will link those below. Until next time, guys, we will be back in Las Vegas. We'll be back in the Venetian very soon. Make sure you subscribe. I love you guys. Oh, and take time to explore your town. You'll never know what you're gonna find. Love ya, peace.